Jimmy, uh, this is from Bosch, Dynacord. Yeah, Dynacord PSD215 and the TS400, which looks remarkably suspiciously like a column speaker of the years gone by, but doesn't really sound like it. Well, you'll see the cutaway. Um, when we fired this up, we got more bottom end and SPL out of this thing than I would have thought possible. Yeah, look, uh, the system as a whole is extremely capable, I think is, is the short way of saying it. Um, the sub is a self-powered sub. It's also got a second amplifier channel built in, which then can run the TS400 or indeed a selection of other top boxes. Mm, now that was interesting. We got ourselves a, a JBL System 400, a system 400 12 inch and baby's bum wedge active wedge and stuck it on top and dialed up other box generic 12 and horn box and we've never heard that system 400 yep sound as good i mean it's a 20 year old design yeah but look i think i think sort of what what comes out of this is that the dsp and the amplification inside the psd215 is very good. It's up to date. There's a, a lot of options in, in the way of you can customise things within the menu. You can you can put delay on, on various elements of the system or delay it as a whole. You can adjust overall level and you can also adjust the sub level in reference to whatever the top box is. You can also run a slave sub, which is a sub without an Yeah, air. there's a, there is, I think it's a PSE, that um, would, but that it's would a non-powered sub. seriously kick. Yeah, or if you want to get really, really serious about it, you can get two of these in a slave sub and you can flip one of these into cardioid mode and you can actually mm. run cardioid. But you get what you pay for, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. Look, I would say this is definitely a premium system yeah. and it's priced accordingly. Yeah. But man, seriously, the amount the amount of, of sheer force you get out of this and it didn't break up. It was encouraging, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, um, I really like this. Um, mm. uh, there's wheels on the back of the sub, which means it's easy to push around. I think the grill, the grill on the front of the sub could probably stand to be a little bit more solid. Um, and that's not from a uh, being on the ground in front of punters perspective. That's from a, when you put it on its wheels, guarantee someone's going to put something on top of, of it. Of course. So look, because it is a curved grill, uh, the, but if you're going to spend this much money, you'd put a cover on it. Yeah, you would put a cover on it. Yeah. And, and look, it's it's nicely sized and surprisingly it doesn't actually weigh as much as you'd think nice um you you wouldn't want to go lifting it you know, single-handedly day in day out but um it, it's it's certainly not a struggle with two people um the ts400 four drivers uh two that do very sort of low mid um two that are slightly more full range on the inner and then a compression the device with a horn on it in the middle yeah 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 um and the pattern control off that's pretty good look it's it's touted as being a full range box uh, on the spec but then on the spec it's listed as uh working from i think 70 78 hertz or something um to 20k uh at up to minus 10 db no, it's so not. that's it's that's, not it's not full range it's, unless it's you're just talking box. voice that, that's a voice box yeah exactly but yeah. when you add one of these to it it's it's a seriously full range system. There you go. Uh, it it gets out there and it gets down. Funky. <laughs>